Hello everyone and welcome. So here we are. That's the first episode of Strand. And yeah, I don't even know where to start. Um, basically, I started Strand as my own personal exercise, maybe, or something. Like, I don't even know if I'm able to talk to my computer or just being on my own and doing my stuff the way I'm doing it now. So yeah, I'm just experimenting around and I hope you'll be enjoying it. Even if you don't do, feel so welcome to let me know because yeah, that's the only way I'm gonna improve and I'm super fine with genuine and constructive critics. So please come at me. Anyway, let's start the show with the two first tracks. So we're gonna start with Zerio and I told you Zerio in a very French way because our man is from France actually and I really like to call him my favorite release machine because this guy never stop. He's been releasing music for the last day I don't even remember. I had the chance to connect with him back in October if I remember well and yeah, his workflow is super inspiring. The man never stops. Just just listen to what's coming. But right before, let's talk about track number two. So track number two is from Wall Brown and Cross Tiff. So it's a collaboration in between two deep house, techno and melodic hardware oriented producers. They really brought it in the best way possible with this track. It's like from the start till the end, it's bouncy and that bass is so tight. And if we think about those vocals, they're bringing the melancholy over the track. And I am always looking for tracks with this mellow touch. And it's talking to me in the best way possible. All right, enough talking. Let's dive into the music now.
Thank you.
And here we are. That was great, right? What do you think? Some of my favorites so far. So, let's dive into track number three and four. Track number three is from none other than my Austrian friend, Zormin. And I kind of hope that I said it right, Zormin. And he recently sent me a jam, actually, a live session called Stack One. And it's super tight. You can really sense and feel that Zormin is enjoying the live station, the performance, and is just vibing and grooving and giving it all. And yeah, I like that. So hold on because this is going to be a fun one. And yeah, let's go to track number four. Track number four is from one of my friend called Sock Drawer. And this one is difficult for me to pronounce. The first time I saw his name, I thought, okay, this might be Second Drawer. And then I had to reach out and actually ask him like, hey buddy, what's your artist name or how do you pronounce it? Because I'm guessing it's something like Second Drawer, you know? And then I think he had a really good loaf and told me, ah, eh, not too far away buddy, but uh, it's actually Suck Drawer. But yeah, that's the way it is sometimes with the uh, names and uh, with people from different countries and culture. Anyway, so basically that's gonna be track number four and now I'm gonna stop talking and let's dive back into music.
How you guys doing there with me? That was great, right? So many talented artists out there. Anyway, let's start and even jump and dive into track number five and six. We're gonna start with my good friend Rupture Rapture. This track is actually going to be released officially tomorrow everywhere as a single. It's called Runes, or at least I hope. I think my French accent might be taking over a little bit on this one. Anyway, be thrilled because this is an exclusivity and only for you guys. I have really much more to say about Rupture Rapture, mainly because I know that there's going to be way more music to come and it's even gonna come through Petit Victoria Collective, but I don't want to say too much right now. So hold on, let's just enjoy this first track. But right before, let's talk about track number five. And no, oh, sorry, track number six. So this one is from Polish artist called Krzysztof Stiplowski. And seriously, this track just blew me away the first time I heard it. It was like a real adventure, a real communication. The machines were, were really doing the talking here. And I just felt like, you know, just reaching out and asking him if I could eventually play the track in this podcast because, yeah, I totally felt for it. So this is extracted from the album Becoming Dowless from 2020 and I really hope that you're gonna enjoy it. All right, let's stop talking again and let's get back into music.
Just whoa, right? I don't know about you, but I really can't get over it. It's like this track has been in my playlist for over like two, three weeks now, and I've been listening to it like almost every day. It's crazy how machines and one mind behind it can make you feel and make you move with the right tones and beat and flow and everything. It's like, just whoa, I'm in. Just give me more music, man, please. Come with a new album soon. All right, let's talk about track number... Mm, seven and eight, right? I think, I guess. So, track number seven is from my friend Sebastian Solt from Germany. And this man really got something when it comes to putting some jams out there and just like those feel-good jams, you know, the one you listen from the start till the end and you just want to press replay, please. So that's that should be what will happen when you will listen to the track he sent me. What I really enjoyed as well was that there were no title when I got the file in the first place. I think it was just called something like House Jam and that's pretty much it. And that was pretty cool, I was like, okay, I know what to expect and so do you. All right, right before getting back into it, let's talk about track number eight. And this one is from my good friend Oxid. The track is called Pines and it's from his debut album called Mind's Eye. We recently released it through Petite Victoria Collective and trust me, this is a real adventure. If you are into hardwares 
and guitars and mystery lands, this is definitely for you. All right, people, let's get back into it and enjoy some more music.
All right, everyone, welcome back. Are you still with me? So let's go further to track number nine and track number 10. Track number nine is from my favorite Digitact and Digitone master called Miles Kundra, a real sensation on YouTube. If you don't know him yet, you should definitely check him out. I will for sure put all the links in the description. No worries. But yeah, this is super solid and for sure very well crafted. It's like the technique, the selection of sounds, everything is spot on. I would absolutely enjoy listening to this kind of music in some of my favorite clubs, that's for sure. Let's talk about track number 10 and this one is by my other very good friend from Germany, 59PLN. And no surprise here, it's like Matthias and me, we've been knowing each other since 2019, if I remember well, and from there it's been, yeah, nothing but love and nothing but friendship, and I really like it. So basically, if I'm into Daoles and electronic music the way I am today, it's because Matthias brought me there, it's because Matthias literally just brought the digits act in front of my nose and said, hey, that's your future, man. And that's basically how I fell into the trap of hardwares and started this whole journey. And so far I'm loving it, even if my economies don't really like it, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I think you can relate as will you here, right? Okay, let's get back into music now. Thank you. 
that was so dark, so ambient, in the best way possible, if you ask me. I really like what Matthias did here with this track, Ambivalence. So basically, we are reaching the end, guys. And if you are still with me now, I want to say thank you. And yeah, there's more to come for sure. It's like, I'm not sure yet about how and why I'm doing this, but so far it's fun. It's simple, it's cozy and chill. I'm just in my sofa listening to some cool tracks and talking to you. And so far, <laughs> I like the concept and why not continue, right? Of course, if you have suggestions and feedbacks and critiques or anything that can help me, that can improve the podcast, feel so welcome to reach me out. And this being said, I'm always in the lookout for new music, so if you want to be featured, reach me out as well because I would love that. All right, my friends, it's time to end the podcast and we're gonna do that with one last track. This track is from Why You Sleep and it's called Analog Dream. And if you know me a little bit, you'll know that I'm really into chop vocals. Maybe a little bit too much sometimes, but hey, that's just me. And yeah, let's go. That's the last track and once again, Thanks for joining this first episode of